In this industry, it's almost impossible to get your first job without having a portfolio online. So what we're gonna do in this video is create a very simple one page landing page that you can use to send over to your clients, to your future boss, whoever it is. And how we're gonna do that in a very fast manner and very timely and very editable manner is we're gonna use something called Reloom. Now, if you guys haven't used Reloom before, I've talked about it a lot of times in the channel. It's a great tool that will help you build faster and better with Webflow with pre-built components just like this header here. Now, if you guys wanna watch my full review then make sure you use the link right here somewhere and you go ahead and check that revision out. Now let's jump right into the video. So first things first here, we're going to need to find a nav and the nav that we're going to use is going to be something very simple that we can use as a anchor page. We're not going to link it to anywhere, any page. It's just going to be a very simple, here's how you can get to this specific section that I'm talking about. So first things first here, we're going to maybe do something like an about section. Then we're going to have a small project section, like a one case study that we can talk about about maybe just the single project, the best project that you've worked on, let's go ahead and feature that one. And the next one, it's going to be the contact section. We can delete this last one, and then maybe this one can be, we can actually probably delete that one as well. Actually, what we're gonna do is bring this one back and delete the contact so we have a very, very clear CTA. Okay, now that we have this nav figured out, let's go ahead and get a heater or a header section, okay? We can go ahead and use one with an image and here's what we can use this to talk a little bit about who we are and what we do. So if we use my personal site as an example, we can see exactly what I'm talking about. I have no CTAs, I have no bio buttons or bio text right under the, the H1, but I have text that explains what I do and who I am. So this is exactly what we want to emulate here. Here. This is a very simple one page portfolio. So here we can talk about, hey, my name is, and we can call ourselves Bruce for this video, why not? Bruce, I'm a photographer doing tutorials, something like that. And ideally you would have a paragraph here or a small text that explains more. And this is also good for SEO. But if we're just sending this out to clients and possible bosses and project managers, then we don't really need this. You know, this, this might be good for SEO, but for our case, it's not completely necessary. Okay. We don't need two buttons in this case. We might only need one. And this can bring us down to the contact section. Okay. Now that we have this very simple section, I'm going to put back the, the photographer and we can do something like image taker, something like that, just so that it fits better within the, the actual container that we're talking about. So now that we've got the very first section here, we can go ahead and duplicate this. So we're just going to go ahead and copy paste. Okay. So we have the exact same thing right under it. And what we can do here is then reuse the same components, even though that's not exactly what we're supposed to do, but if you don't tell anyone, I won't either. So then we can go ahead and add in a different heading here. So we can make this a, a paragraph. Actually, let's do a paragraph. Can remove that. I can remove this contact button. All right. I'm going to the x-ray mode so we can see a little bit about what we're doing here. Okay. And then within the other side, we can add a div block here. Okay. And so then within this div block, we can then add another div block so we can then align everything vertically. So I'm going to go ahead and use another div block in here. And then now within this div block, we can then copy paste it multiple times so we can see exactly what I mean, right? We can have text on the left side and then multiple pieces of text on the right side that is going down vertically. But this text here is then aligned centered. So we can then go ahead and make it vertical, but then we can see that that changes there. Okay. So then we can go ahead and make a secondary class. So we can say top, just like that. And then we can add in a H5 or something very small here. So we can say designer at work, designer at workplace. I'm gonna delete these for now. And then we can then add another piece of paragraph right under it. And to give it some space, we'll give it maybe a one REM. And then here we can say from 2020 to 2022, crucial designer at workplace they wouldn't live without. And then we can just use some, some lorem ipsum to for now. So now what we can do with this div block is then copy paste it multiple times on top of the parent div block. So we can see more about what I mean. So we can then undo that for one second and we can call it text div, give it a two REMs. And now we can start copy pasting. So now we can see more about what I mean here. If I go ahead and remove the x-ray vision, we can see how this looks for now. So we've got a header or a, a very simple image here would, would do great. So we can go ahead and add in one of the images that I've got here. Now you can use your own image, a portfolio picture, a profile picture, whatever you think is best in this case. Now there's no rule for this, but whatever you want, right? Okay. And then right under it, we're going to add in a small, very small case studied or almost like a small gallery. Now I've prepared a very easy grid here that you guys can see just like this. And I'm going to display it and place it right under the section here so you can see what we have. Now this is 
currently way too big. So what we want to do, or what I want to do at least, is make this into a actual grid, add three columns and remove one of the rows. Okay, now this grid, we can actually just duplicate this top section again into the body, and then we can add the grid that we want inside of that section header. Now we can go ahead and add that grid inside of the container, okay, and remove everything else. So I'm just gonna delete the top one here so we have this, and within the grid, we can then maybe make it 10 REMs and remove everything else. So now what we can do here, or what we have done here is a very simple, very easy, no design required landing page. And what this allows you to do now, when you can take this, is apply it to jobs. Now these are all light boxes, so these are all individually connected. If we want to actually connect them so that they all pop up together, we need to go into the light box link and call it something like number one. Okay, we can do the same thing here, number one, and then number one. So then if we want, we can go ahead and preview that just like this, and we can see that it's a very small, easy gallery to view. Now, what I want to do under this, so we can actually use this as a contact method, so we can go ahead and do into Reloom is grab a contact section here, and we can just use the very first one, the very easy one, go back into the body, paste it in there, and now we have a contact section. For the tagline, we can probably delete that, just for now, and this contact us can stay, maybe we could say, contact very simple and this is pretty much the basis or the bare bones of what we need in this portfolio now if i wanted to i could go ahead and publish this because this is already responsive this already works in the lower breakpoints but what we need to do now is go ahead and mark these links as anchor links so we can then go ahead and name this something like section header we can then name this about this can be gallery Okay, or case study for now. And then when we go ahead and link this, we can then link it to the exact section that we're talking about. So here we can go ahead and name it into the about. In case study, we can then link it all the way down to case study. So now when we click it, it takes us to about, okay. Case study takes us to our case study. The only thing we're missing now is actually contact, which this contact ideally would take us to a different page or maybe Twitter or something like that. But we can just link it to the contact page for now. I'm just gonna name this contact for now. Okay, so then this button can go ahead and move all the way down to contact. Okay, and we will do the same thing for this button all the way down to contact. And now when we go ahead and click one of these buttons, it takes us directly to the contact one, contact, same thing. So now we have the following. We have a very, very simple bare bones version of a portfolio. And what we can do this portfolio is two things. Number one, we can add more images. We can increase the size. We can do whatever we want to these images so that they act more as a, as a presentation piece rather than a very small, slim version. Okay. So we can go ahead and do that. Maybe reduce or increase the size here at least a little bit. You can grab this heading, paste on top, and then we can then change the details to say something like gallery okay sounds good for this heading we can then give it a secondary class of maybe gallery add in around two rems or three that's the thing it doesn't truly truly matter too too much in this case we're just doing it visually so that it makes sense so maybe we can add three and that's good enough looking good if we want to we can actually even delete this button here so that it doesn't look like it's floating in the middle of nowhere and then let's re replace this image with an image of something more vertical so that it makes a lot more sense in this very specific case okay so we're going to take the image and reduce the size all the way down to like 40 rems make it overflow none we can probably even reduce that even more so here we have the bruce image taker portfolio, right? We have a centered image of an eagle, and this can obviously act as our profile picture instead of an eagle if you want it to. So we have a very simple introduction of who we are, what it is that we do, a little bit of about who we are, and again, what it is that we do. And in this case, I usually like to, where the portfolios that I think work best here are the ones that are more personable, the ones that explain more about what you do in your hobby, in your free time, in your real life, rather than what it is that you can bring to the team like a Photoshop expert, Webflow expert, whatever it is, right? I think that can be better illustrated here when you have the actual experience. So you have designer at this at this workplace, designer at that workplace, and you see more about what you're doing. Now this can be used maybe for your workplace, maybe for education, maybe for some sort of experience or volunteering that you did, that's also fine, okay? I would scroll down, we have a very small gallery. Now this gallery, 
again, can be customized to the nines. So we can have a very different looking gallery than this if we wanted to. But for now, we have a very simple, very easy to use portfolio that we can then ship to any company if we're looking immediately for a for a job and we need, you know, we need it fast. We need it. We need to go. So hopefully this helps you guys and hopefully you can benefit from something like this. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure that you like it and check out the other Reloom videos where I build something a little bit more complex. We build something a little bit faster and you guys can actually take this and go ahead and build your own portfolio. If you guys enjoyed this, then make sure that you like and subscribe and go and check out my Twitter. Twitter's where I can talk to you guys and be more personable and actually have real conversations with you. So if you'd like to go ahead and reach me over there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.